hello sweeting welcome back to my channel this is sweet achele we're having beef sauce today and this dinner will be ready in just under 30 minutes let's get started we're going to start by prepping our meat and i'm looking for the lines that goes down which is known as the grain okay so you don't want to cut it alongside the grain your meats will be tough in the end and you don't want that you want to cut it across the grain or against the grain which is across those lines which will help your meat cook fast and it'll also be tender almost melting in your mouth so that's what i'm doing now i'm cutting it against the grain this is exactly what you're going for okay it is perfect our beef sauce will be ready in no time next i'm going to go ahead and soak it with some baking soda for about five minutes which will help tenderize the meat soaking it will also help me to get out some of the preservatives and blood in the meat okay and i'm soaking it with some room temperature water it's been about five minutes and I'm going to go ahead and wash out my meat and I'll wash it until my water have less blood in it as possible. This is totally optional, but this is how I like to prep my meat before using it to cook, especially if I buy it from the store and not directly from the butcher. Okay. Oh, this is the now that our meat is nice and clean as you can see i'm just going to leave it for about five minutes so that some of the water will strain out of it and then we will be ready to marinate it okay and there you have it it is nice and ready so i'm just going to go ahead and season it with some salt to that i'll add some ginger and garlic that i've grated okay you can use the powder form if you prefer i'm also going to go ahead and add in some cornstarch honey oyster sauce and also soy sauce now if you don't have oyster sauce just stay with the soy sauce finally i'll add in some sesame oil stir everything together until it is well incorporated and we will allow this to marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes okay you can marinate this overnight if you have the time but hey we're trying to get dinner ready as fast as we can I'll cover it up and allow it to marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes. Meanwhile, I'll go ahead and cut up some red, yellow, orange, and green bell pepper, carrots, scallion, and one red onion. And there you go. <laughs> I also have some habanero pepper, garlic, and ginger that I'll grate beautifully just like this. And I'm also adding some broccoli and cauliflower. You may use any vegetable of your choice. We'll be enjoying this with some rice. So I have some rice in my rice cooker. I'm just going to go ahead and season it with some salt and some chopped up onion. I'm also going to add a bit of coconut oil. Give it a good stir. You want to taste for salt to ensure that it is perfect. Cover it up and allow it do its thing. Now in a bowl, I'll add in some oyster sauce soy sauce water and some cornstarch 
stir everything together and set aside. We will be using this later to thicken our sauce. Now that we have everything prepped, let's begin. In a wok, a very hot wok, I'll add some coconut oil. You may use any oil of your choice. To that, I'll add my curly flour and broccoli and I'll season it with some of my all-purpose seasoning. We'll be stir steaming this for about three to five minutes. So I'll just add a little bit of water to steam it up for me quickly. We'll show you how to make pizza, jala, bambu and okra sushi and pastries, all this and more, sweet vegetables. Our broccoli and cauliflower is ready, so we'll get it out and set it aside. We'll then go ahead and clean out our wok and begin cooking our meat. To the wok, we'll add some coconut oil. To that, we'll add in our beef. And we'll saute this on high heat until it is nicely cooked. Remember not to overcrowd your pan. If in case you feel you've overcrowded it, you can always take some out. Overcrowding it will cause the meat to release a lot of juice, causing it to take a longer time to cook. Just look at this, so nice, so tender, it is ready. So I'll get it out, repeat the process until everything is done. Meanwhile, we check on our rice. It looks amazing. It is ready and it tastes, oh my goodness, super delicious. So let's put everything together. To my wok, I've added a little bit of coconut oil to that i'm going to add my grated ginger garlic and chopped up habanero pepper to this i'll add my carrots because it is the hardest of the vegetables that are yet to be cooked and i'll stir fry it for just about a minute you can cook it longer if you like but i still want some crunchiness in my carrots to this, I'll add the rest of my vegetables and I'll stir fry it for another minute. I'll season it with a little bit of my all-purpose seasoning. Be mindful of how much seasoning and salt you're adding because your soy sauce has salt in it. Although I'm using a low sodium type. So be very mindful. If yours is not low sodium, you want to use less salt and seasoning. I'll add in my curly flour and broccoli and stir everything together. All right, y'all. Let's add in our beef and also our thickener. Give it a good stir and allow it to simmer for about five minutes or just until your sauce thickens up just like this. If you have some sesame oil, sprinkle a little bit on it, not too much, just a little. Add in your spring onions, give everything a stir and turn your fire off. Our sauce is done. It is ready. So all that is left is for us to serve and enjoy. Everybody is welcome to my home. Join me for this amazingly delicious dinner. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up.
subscribe thank you share and subscribe if you have not done that yet if you're new subscriber welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team y'all know i love you until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke onamimi uchemi sweet mahabo too bye y'all